so in this video i am going to show you uh, how to find the equivalent resistance of circuits one particular type of circuits the circuits which have some sort of symmetry now as you can see in this circuit ab you have to find the equivalent resistance between a and b and there is symmetry along this line uh, uh, means if you see above this line above this line or below this line there is a symmetry there is a symmetry above this line and below this line so the thing which is to be observed is when a circuit is symmetrical symmetrical about a line about a line then potential potential and current must also be also be symmetrical so what is the implication of this statement it implies that the current flowing in path ab i ab will be equal to current flowing in path ad so i ad current will be same similarly current flowing in this part i bc is equal to i dc and b e and d they will be at same potential vb is equal to ve is equal to vd these are at same potential now if they are same potential that means potential difference between these two terminals will be zero potential difference between these two terminals will also be zero so i can remove this resistor and this resistor so this circuit can be redrawn as so this is a this is b this is r this is r these two are these are these are so now this is point b this is point e this is point d as in the previous circuit this point a this point c okay so now we have to find the equivalent resistance between a b that is the question so now what happens these two resistors are in series these two resistors are also in series these two resistors are also in series so this is twice r this is twice r this is twice r all the three resistors twice r are in series so equivalent resistance between a and b 1 by r ab all are in parallel so this is 1 by twice r plus this 1 by twice r plus 1 by twice r plus 1 by twice r so r ab is equal to twice r twice r by 3 so this is the equivalent resistance between a and b okay now another so this is another circuit uh, where all the resistors are equal identical and you have to find the equivalent resistance between a and b now if i draw a dotted line now if you see about this dotted line this part right side to the right of this dotted line and to the left side of this dotted line all the circuit elements are symmetric yeah. but there is one geometrically they are symmetric resistors are they are symmetric this but there is one asymmetry asymmetry is to the left side the current is coming and to the right side the current is going so you have to take that line of symmetry which have geometrically it is symmetric but asymmetry is one side you will have current incoming other side you have current outgoing now that means if this at this particular point o whatever current is coming from this side the same current must go to the right side so that means i o in current incoming at o is equal to i o out that means there must be no intermingling inter 
intermingling of current. So, if there is no intermingling of current, that means the current which is coming like this, it will go like this. Current which is coming like this, it will go in this path. Current will coming in this direction will go in this direction. Current in this direction it will go in this direction. So, there is no intermingling. So, if there is no, no intermingling, I can lift this part. Similarly, I can lift this part and I can redraw, redraw the circuit as So this is A, this is B, this is R, R, R. These are the 1, 2, 3, 3 parts. R, 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 1, 2, 3 part. And these two registers, see I have lifted this register from this part. So this is similarly, this, this part, this point is lifted and brought here. So this is R, this is R this is R, this is R. So now these two registers are in series, it is in parallel with this and this entire combination is in series. Similarly, these two registers are in series, it is in parallel with this register and again these three registers are in series. So these two registers are in series. So this entire combination is in parallel. So you calculate the resistance of this part separate first these two registers in series that register in parallel with this and the combination is in series. This resistance will be equal to this resistance. This is R plus R twice R. Now all these three registers are in parallel. Now if you solve this, you will get R A B is equal to 4 R by 5. I have already solved this and the answer is R A B equal to 4 R by 5. You can che check this answer yourself. Okay. So this is one more circuit. Now let us see one more circuit. Now this is a circuit and all again all the registers are identical and we have to find the equivalent resistance between A and B. Okay. Now as I as in the first circuit I have solved, here I told you when a circuit is symmetrical about a line, the potential, the potential and the current must also be symmetrical potential remember potential and current must also be symmetrical so uh, i will apply that concept over here so that means this one and two that these two points must have same potential three four five they should have same potential six and seven they must have same potential okay so the points which are at same potential can be brought together so how I will bring them let's see so this is starting point is A I will start on this side this is A okay then we have two rays 1 and 2 is brought together so this is 1 comma 2 and you have this is R this R and this is R. Okay, 3, 4, 5, they are together. So this is 3, 4, 5. Now between 1 and 3, you have this register. Between 1 and 4, you have this register. Between 2 and 4, you have R. Between 2 and 5, we have one more R. Okay, so this is 2, this is 1, 2, this is this point is 3, 4, 5. So you have R, 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 R. You have four registers in parallel between points 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5. Okay, now then you have from 6 and 7 this is 6 comma 7 so again between 3 and 6 you have one register 
this is 3, this is 6. Between 4 and 6, one resistor. Between 4 and 7, you have one resistor. And then between 5 and 7, also you have one resistor. Okay, so this is 6 and 7. 6 and 7, this point, they are brought together. Then between this is B. So this is B, point B. So between 6 and B, this 6 and B, you have one register. This 7 and B, you have one more register. So now this complex circuit is converted into this simple circuit. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, these four registers, identical registers in parallel. Again, these registers are or identical registers in parallel, all are R. So these are four R in series, because so these four R is in parallel. Again, four registers in parallel. These two registers are in parallel. These two registers are in parallel. And all this combination is in series. Now, if you can solve this, you'll get R A B is equal to R A B equal to 3 R by 2. So you can also try this. You can solve this and check whether you are getting this result. So this is how you can solve circuits. Circuits where registers are identical and there is a symmetry, line of symmetry. And this is the concept you have to use. So I hope this uh, video will be beneficial for you to find equivalent resistance of circuits. I will be uploading few more videos based on circuit solvings very shortly. Thank you for watching this video.